Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, was Benezzi anyway. Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Disoni's heard it all. Poor kid. Have to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stone war we've had from the Council. And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another altitude flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. That'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Bionics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on I enlist oh, but humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep I should go. Goodbye, Commander. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination. Her intelligence. Her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. 
I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. But we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. A little danger makes things exciting. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. My people believe we are all part of a... Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them... Survive. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander.
Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. He's not impressed that you're going after Sarek? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, Sid. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. Oh, shoot me now. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? And dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly, have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Poetry? You gonna bore the enemy to death, Marine? Dad, it'll work on Geth, but I'll give it a shot. Just like to remember why we fight. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. 
Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. I thought you said he was dead. You know, from heaven, wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? That depends on whether you have a problem with people who don't believe in God. Commander, I'm not some kind of zealot. I believe in God. What everyone else believes is their business. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really should talk to Chisoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. chief engineer but I just sort of feel out of place the Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving and the engines are so quiet how do you sleep at night the silence wakes you up back on the flotilla the last thing you want to hear is silence it means an engines died or an air filter shut down I guess you don't have to worry about that here but old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. 
Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them, but maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the Migrant Fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually, but we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Thank <laughs> you. 